Good morning, children. Today we are going to discuss about coordinate geometry. What it is? See this. P is that in a plane where two perpendicular lines, mutual perpendicular lines are in the same plane, that is the x and y axis meet. So we in find, we plot the points on that. We find the distance between the that. Okay. And we used to draw this on the graph paper. Without graph paper also we can draw this. Okay. It's a two dimension. So we sometimes we need graph paper. Sometimes without graph paper also we can solve this. Okay. So now what is that? See here. What is the formula that we are going to use our in this here? So see what is the formula here. This is the distance formula that we have to use. Okay. This is the distance formula. Okay. The horizontal distance between the point is x2 minus x1. Okay. Suppose this is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. Okay. And these two points are here. Okay. One point is A and one point is B. So we have to find the distance between A and B. And that is called distance formula. For that we need this point. See here. This is A given x1, y1. B given x2, y2. And so this is our distance formula. This one under root x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 whole square now we are going to use that in our we are going to use this in our uh, questions there so let us see that okay one more formula is there that is called midpoint formula see here this is called midpoint formula when we have to find such points uh, in the sectional formula we will find this so Today only we will discuss about the distance formula and my video is also on that only. So we will find, let us see that video here and what I have done, see this here. Let me add the question first. Question is saying that the find the distance between P minus 4, 7. And Q 2 minus 5. I have to find the distance between P and Q. Okay, so obviously I will use my distance formula. So now see this. What is that? Distance bit formula. We have to find between P and Q. So I will draw this P point is that and this is the Q point. Okay. Now minus 4 and 7 are the coordinates of P. That means X is equal to minus 4, Y is equal to 7. So this is the first point. So I am writing X1 and Y1 here. This is the second point. So I am writing X2 and Y2. X2 and Y2 means they all are in the same plane here. Okay. And we have to now find the distance formula. So what is the formula of distance? I have just described, I have just explained also, so let me uh, write that is equal to, uh, here also I am writing that x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, okay. Now what, x2 is well known to us, what is the value of x2, x1 is also well known to us, so we have to just replace the value, so that we can find the solution here. So now what is my x2 that is equal to here 2 and my x1 is minus 4 so here it is writing here and then what is my y2 my y2 is minus 5 and what is my y1 that is equal to 7 here minus the formula from formula it will become minus 7 only so now see this here so see y2 minus y1 so this minus is this minus here and y1 is 7 so this is 7 here so y minus 7 y2 is plus but y2 is my minus y between minus 5 so i will add this this will become like this only and i will remove this bracket small bracket here it will become 2 plus 4 that is 6 here so i have written that only okay now what simply one calculations and we can find the distance formula we can just find the distance formula that is equal to 36 plus 144 that is 180 and 180 can be written as 36 into 5 okay 
so 6 is a uh, 36 is a perfect square so 6 will come outside this will become 6 root 5 unit only ok now one more questions I have solved I would like to show you that see here now see that question what I have written I would like to yes this is the question that I am writing here see question is saying that show that these points they have given us ok these points they have given us let me show that points here these are the three points a a minus a minus a and minus root 3 3 that means three points are here ok now what we have to do we have to show that they are the vertices of an equilateral triangle they are the vertices of an equilateral triangle here ok so let us see how we can solve that so now look I have written the point set that is A it was given A B was given minus A minus A and C was given minus root 3 and root 3 A only ok these all are the if this if this triangle ABC and the equilateral that means what AB will be equal to BC will be equal to AC ok I am saying that since triangle ABC equal to triangle if it is true then my disconsideration will be also true that AB is equal to BC is equal to AC then A squares will be also equal AB square will be equal to BC square will be AC square this is a triangle equal to triangle AB and C all three sides are equal the squares will be also equal yes and it is I am doing that because so that the square roots from the distance formula can be removed ok that's why I am doing that ok so now let us see that so what we have to do basically is that I am just taking the sides there x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square formula that is equal to that is by the distance formula and that is equal to minus 2 whole square 2 a square that is equal to 4 a square plus 4 a square that is equal to 8 a square understand that the negative of if a number is negative and the power is even so it will become positive only so it is 4 a square plus that is 8 a square I have got a b square now all sides have to come like this only then only it will become an equal to triangle so let us see that now I will find b c here so b c square will be the same thing x2 minus x1 plus whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so now this will become here ok so this will become a square plus 3 is 4 a square plus 4 a square that is equal to a t square because it is a minus b whole square plus a plus b whole square so 2 a term will be cancelled here so it will become here 2 into uh, 3 a square plus a square so it will become ok so this will become 4 a square that is equal to 8 a square ok two sides have come equal we are going in the very right track only now only third side has to become equal and my consideration will become true only <coughs> so let us do that also let's find that AC ok now we will find that value of AC here so now that value of AC is that is that x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 whole square the same result will come ok the same result this is a plus b whole square that is a minus b whole square and that 2 every term will be cancelled so it will become 2 into 3a square plus a square that will become 8a square so ac square is also equal to 8a square so now what I found I found that AB square is equal to AC square is equal to BC is equal to AT so you may say sir this is a square so what if I remove this square so it will become AB is equal to AC is equal to BC and AT square will also get under root AT square my point is that these all three sides are equal the squares are also equal that means this is the vertices of an equilateral triangle ok class so we have understood that distance formula today in next class we will understand something more here Till then all of you, take care, thank you class, thank you very much.